Hey, what's up guys? It's me, George, and I'm here to give you some big news on Android Wear. Okay, so a few weeks back, Google announced that there was going to be a new update for their operating system in Android Wear. The last one that we have was 5.1, around lollipop and this is going to be 6.0 around marshmallow okay so I'm, I'm here to give you a rundown of all the improvements and specs that are included in this new OS okay guys so the update is marshmallow even though Google doesn't seem to want to refer to it as such before it was released Google told us to expect speaker support additional voice commands our messaging apps and a bunch of new gestures okay so this update now we know that includes support for new languages such as Mandarin, Cantonese, Indonesian, Polish, Dutch and Thai. It also includes Android 6.0 DOS mode screen dimming, control of app permissions and those previously mentioned new gestures as well as manual date and time setting, Bluetooth headset audio improvements and other bug fixes. Today's update will also allow you to send messages with more third-party applications with just your voice. Now you can send messages from apps such as Google Hangouts, Next Plus, Telegram, Viber, WeChat, and WhatsApp. For instance, to send a Hangouts message, all you need to say is, OK Google, send a Hangouts message to Jimmy. How's it going? And Google understand now that there are folks that use that don't use standard text messages to communicate with friends, right? So this update should keep, make them keep to touch a little easier, right? Okay, so uh, another new thing is dose mode. Dose mode, just like its marshmallow iteration, reduces the battery usage by hibernating background apps when the device is not in use. This is measured by using the sensors on the device, for example, when the watch is sitting on a table without being used. Okay, and last but not least, Google has introduced speaker support to Android Wear. With speaker support, you'll be able to take and receive calls over Bluetooth and even listen to audio or video messages with apps such as Glide. Of course, this feature won't be available to all current Android Wear watches. You'll need to have a device with a built-in speaker, and right now, that only includes the Huawei watch and the Asus Zen Watch 2 with a 49mm. Other minor improvements include better Bluetooth audio support. Okay, so, you might remember that last year's 5.1 update let you flick your wrist to scroll between cards. Okay, so, Marshmallow contains a new gesture set that lets you expand cards, bring up the apps, or go back with a lift or shake of your arm. Okay, okay so, let's give it up tutorial of these new gestures. So, now, let's take a look at these new gestures that are included in the new operating system, okay? So, here we have a tutorial, okay? It says, please flick wrist out, okay? That's the first, flick wrist out to scroll down this page, okay? Scroll down again, and you scroll to the end, right? Okay, so the next one is flick wrist in, okay? And again, and again and push arm down push arm down to select this card and that now again and that's how you push your arm down leave it arm up that's go back go back and that's how you go back and use final gesture to exit to the watch face from any screen. Shake your wrist. And that's how you exit to your watch face from any screen. Okay, so let's check that out. Okay, so as you can see, with the push of the arm, you can open your apps and you can scroll through your app drawer just like that. And when you shake it, it comes back to the watch face. There are also improvements, little improvements on the animations. They are a bit smoother, as you can see. 
30 frames per second, it's better. And also some changes down here in the settings menu, such as you have the, have the note Don't Disturb, then the theory mode, then the brightness boost, and then settings. In settings, we can see that there are new options, such as And here the same, adjust brightness, change watch shades, font size, the gestures, we have new things down in gestures. We also have new date and time, as you can see, you can set now the time and date in the watch, independently from the, smart, the smartphone that you are connected to, right? The screen lock as well is the same one. Uh, we also have app permissions, as I mentioned in the beginning. So now app permissions uh, have changed, like in Marshmallow, in the smartphones, so now you can uh, grant or remove permissions from specific apps. It had also on pair with phone, power up and about. As you can see in about, we have the um, system update, which in this case is up to date. And we have the version. We have now 6.0.1, so for the Android. Okay, so this was a rundown of the new improvements that are included in the new operating system for Android Wear. I hope this was useful. Please like and subscribe for more tech tips and see you in the next one.